feel so weird talking to myself in the camera. I'm going to have to get used to it though. Because I want to make more videos. So I'll have to get over the initial first beginner's embarrassment. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I am going to do my very first story time for you. So I am going to tell the stories behind my tattoos. I have five tattoos total and I will start from my first one all the way down to my most recent one and why I got them and when I got them. Okay, I'm going to talk about my first tattoo on my shoulder and I'm going to feel like I dropped my phone. You kind of see a little flower and it says Irene. Fun fact about that tattoo. My best friend from high school, um, I haven't really talked to her in a while, but she was my best friend in high school. She actually drew it up, so I have her art on my body forever. She thought that was, she thought that was just amazing. This tattoo specifically is really special to me. Um, I got it when I was 16 for my 16th birthday. My mother and I went and got tattoos together, and um, this one, it says Irene. And the flower is a lily flower, so it's Lillian Irene, who is, it's what this tattoo is in memory of my great grandma because she died the same day I was born. She died that morning at like 8 a.m. and then I was born later that night at like 10 p.m. So it's a bittersweet day. I talk about it in my Draw My Life video. I'll have that link up here. It hurt really bad. Um, I cried, and but I got through it and it's, yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. It's my very first tattoo. It's kind of faded now, but um, I'll have to get it touched up or whatever. But um, I got it in memory of her. It's a memorial for my grandma, Irene. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I'm named after her. My first name's Kayla, middle name Irene, so I was named after her. And apparently nobody knew that her first name was Lillian because everybody just called her Irene. I don't know how you don't know that, but nobody knew that. Even my grandpa didn't know that, and it was his mom. Because everybody just called her Irene, they didn't know that her first name was Lillian. So, um, they gave me her middle name, Irene, and later on learned that it wasn't even her name, it was her middle name. I don't know. It confuses me, but I remember Noah went with me to get that tattoo. I might even have a video. If I can find that video clip, I'll link it. I might ha I think, I think there's a video on YouTube on Noah's channel. I'll have that link down here if I can find it the day that I got this tattoo. So all of my tattoos are sentimental, but this one's like one of my favorites because it's extremely sentimental because it's a memorial and it was my first one, so yeah. Moving on! Which one is my second tattoo? Might have been this one. I think this is my second one. When I went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee for our honeymoon and we got matching tattoos while we were down there, which was awesome. It was my idea. I thought it was such an awesome idea that it would be an awesome story to tell like in the future, like years down the line, like to our kids and stuff. Be like, oh yeah, we got matching tattoos while we were um, honey, honeymooning in Tennessee, which was so much fun. I have mine on my left arm. He has the same thing, the infinity sign that says, with my name and then Roman numerals because 10, 4, 14 is our anniversary date. So I got numbers. He got Roman numerals because he thought it was more masculine or whatever. So when we're standing side by side, um, like hugging or something, or like when we're laying in bed, our tattoos um, are lined up with each other. I thought that was just really cool, really romantic. You know, it's sentimental. It's, you know, something that, um, that reminds us of each other, I guess. I don't know. So, you know, it's something that I'll have forever on my body. And I wouldn't want to have anybody else's name but Noah's on my body forever. My third tattoo is one on my foot. I have a picture right here. And it's three little hearts that my, my me, my mom, and my sister have these matching tattoos. We got one year, was it last year? I got last year for spring break. 
green heart is my birthstone, the blue heart is my mom's birthstone, and the red heart is my sister's birthstone. So it's like emerald, aquamarine, and like ruby or something like that for May, December, and July for me, my mom, and my sister. So we thought that was really cool that um, we all got matching tattoos and they're all like in, um, they all represent something, they represent our birthstones. So that was cool, like mother and daughter getting the same thing and um, once again something that we'd always have in our bodies to remember each other by and my mom has like probably 12 tattoos and she still wants more and she's gonna be like you're gonna be you're gonna be a very tattooed up old lady someday I probably will be too once you get one once you get one tattoo you'll want more trust me it hurts but it's totally worth it like you'll want more. They're just addicting and I can't explain it. I don't I don't know why. It's just being able to express yourself in like a different way. Like I feel like tattoos is a way to express yourself. They show your personality. You can they can mean something or they don't have to mean something. They can be something that you just think is that looks cool or looks pretty or looks masculine, whatever you think. I don't know. They're just they're really fun. I'm kind of afraid of needles a little bit. So like if I have to go get my blood drawn or get a shot or something, I'm like, oh my god. But if it's a tattoo I'm like, oh, like, do more, give me more, give me more tattoos. People make fun of me all the time, like, you can get tattoos and you're scared of needles. It's like, yes, it's because a shot is a little bit of a bigger needle and it goes in a little bit deeper, especially if, like, you have to get, like, uh, uh, like your blood drawn or something, it's going into your vein. The tattoo needle is like little, little, little tiny needle. It's only going in a couple layers of skin. That's it. It's not going into your vein or an epidural goes halfway through your back pretty much. Like it's, it's different. Okay. It's different. The piercing, piercing goes completely through your skin, through your ear or through your eyebrow, through your lip, through your tongue, wherever you get it. It's going all the way through something. Tattoos just go through a little bit of skin, not a whole body part. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Where was I? Fourth tattoo, this flower right here. It's a marigold and it's actually the flower that represents October. It's the October flower. So um, that's also really sentimental and um, means a lot to me because if you think about it, our wedding anniversary is October. Our dating anniversary is in October, his birthday is in October, and my parents' anniversary or dating anniversary is in October. And if you haven't known this, my dad asked out my mom the same day that Noah asked me out, just 21 years um, between each other. Like he asked out my mom October 16th, 1989. Noah asked me out October 16th, 2010. So that was a really interesting fact, fun fact, that we um, kind of took it as maybe it was like we were destined to be together because we shared the same anniversary as my parents. We, we actually didn't know that until a few weeks later on after he already asked me out. So it wasn't planned or anything. It was honestly just mind-blowing when we actually found that out. That's, that. That's what that one represents. Um, just represents the uh, month of October. So we have a lot of things in October that are near and dear and close to our hearts. So, um, Fifth and final tattoo is this one right here. I just got this one back in May or June. Might have been May. Probably like the end of May, I think. I think I got this one back in the end of May. It says, it's a Bible verse. It says, the pain that you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming, Romans 8, 18. And that one means a lot to me because I just feel like any hard thing that I go through, I can just look at this verse and it just gets me through everything. Because if you think about it, the pain that you've been going through in any aspect of life, the pain that you've been going through can't compare to the joy that's coming. It, addiction or um, relationships, it just, I just feel like that it applies to everything. And one thing that it really makes me think of, one thing that I really think of when I read this verse is um, the pain or like the mental pain or the emotional pain that I go through um, when I think about us trying to have kids or having a baby someday is um, I've been wanting a baby for so long and eventually it'll come but the pain that I feel now won't be able to even compare to the joy that I know a baby will bring us someday and even in like um, through birth the pain that you go through in birth won't compare to that 
first moment where you see your child's face or that first time you they take that first breath won't be able to compare to all the pain that you went a couple hours ago through labor and stuff I just that's what I think of when I read this verse and now like I'll be able to see it you know I got it right here so I'd be able to see it read it and think about that um, when someday I'm giving labor and um, someday when I get pregnant and stuff. So those are my five tattoos, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want any other story time videos, give me some ideas on what you want to hear, what you want to know about, what you want me to tell a story about. So click that subscribe button at the bottom. Don't forget to click that subscribe so you can see all my more, all my videos. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Go follow my Facebook page and my Instagram at Kayla.Benoit14. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!